Hi folks. Uh, you know what? I hope everybody's doing well these days. Uh, if you're watching this in the year 2020, you know what I'm talking about. The days of COVID have just been, uh, they've been pretty much hell for everybody. Uh, some countries have done very well with it. Uh, our only wishes from, from Brenda and myself are that everybody is staying safe and that they can be healthy and well and uh, just getting by until, until the time when we can all enjoy, enjoy ourselves again. Uh, hopefully the tips that we've been bringing you have been, have been useful for you on using the Ubi Launcher. And it's, it's because of the days of COVID. I was speaking with uh, one of our, our customers the other day and they'd bought quite a number for their club in an attempt to, to bring curling and curlers uh, from the wintertime into their, their club for the summer. And they thought, you know, one of the easiest ways might be to use the Ubi Launcher. And we started discussing this and pretty sure it was with him. We'd started talking. I thought, wow, this is going to be shameless marketing, but you know what? I, I can't see myself doing a lot of bowling personally with a bowl in my hand that's rolled over and we'll, I won't go through the whole thing, but I don't really want to be in contact with anything. This, this year is all about being safe in that. Um, but I got something to, to share with you, just something that we've discussed with a couple of people and it's been like kind of aha moments. I've got my bowls with me. I haven't touched my bowls, say, since the last time I bowled. I've got my Ubi launcher with me. Right? But I still want a bowl. Let's say we do that. Let's say everybody, every club did this. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I could actually bowl without ever touching my bowls for the whole session and not touch them again until two or three days later when I come back out to bowl. So come on in with me and I'll, I'll just show you how we're going to do this. So first of all, I carry a little bag and unlike normal times, I would, uh, I would try not to um, touch anything. I would not have my bag filled with other things because I tend to spill things out of my bag. I tend to load them up. But here I am. I'm going to bend down and I'm going to dump my two bowls out of the bag. And let's say I'm playing fours. I could do the same with the bottom one if I'm playing, playing uh, pairs or triples or something or whatever. I could undo the zipper here. But I'm going to do it this way. The reason I'm doing it that way is because my back is hurt. I heard it the other day and, and uh, it's, it's getting better now. But So here I am. I've now jockeyed the bowl into position and I'm getting ready for my first end. We'll just move this out of the way here. Getting ready for my first end and I'm going to deliver my bowl. There we go. I go to the other end. We haven't mentioned it yet, but this is also a bowls lifter if you wanted it to be. A jack lifter, a bowls lifter. Notice I haven't touched anything yet. I haven't touched a single bowl yet. And two coming up. Great, here we go. We're going to bowl my bowl. We're going to get my other bowl. I'm going to bowl my second bowl. The other team bowls their bowls. They're all using UB, UB launchers as well. They bowl theirs. Uh, let's say we're just playing a little 10-in game because it was really hot and humid today and people just wanted to get out and have some fun. Okay, so I go down. It's the last end. I come up. I bowl my first bowl. I'm still having fun. It is. Bowls is a lot of fun. We all know that. But it's not fun if you're really thinking, oh man, I don't want to touch anything. I don't want to be near anybody. The next person when I'm bowling can be a good two to three meters away. It's the same as when I golf. I always make a joke about, about golfing where, you know, how, how, why do you golf? I said, because the guys that we golf with, we're sometimes 20 and 30 yards away from each other after the first shot and on the tee we're, we're still three four yards away from each other even on the putting green we give each other our, our distance but yeah no we're not that good we are we're okay but we're not that good that we're going to be walking like this to balls so last bowl of the game i'm going i'm going yes yes that was it that was the shot now it's time to go watch this See that? Still haven't touched a ball. Two. Haven't touched a ball. Get my handles that have never touched the balls. I'm here. Here we are. Ready to go home. Got this. I get my Ubi launcher. And I haven't touched the head that's touched a ball that might have touched another ball. But the balls are in the bag. I'm not going to touch them for another three days. 
That's it, folks. I've really enjoyed my game of bowls today, and I did it all because of the Ubi Launcher. Is it shameless marketing? Absolutely. But the Ubi Launcher may be one way to get through the days of COVID and any other times when you're feeling ill or whatever, infirm. It's, it's just a great tool overall. We're so happy that people have contributed uh, stories coming back to us about people who have been out of bowls for two years, three years, and they've come back because of this. Having been in abject pain, Doctor's orders, you can't do this, you can't bowl, you can't golf, you can't do anything. Uh, a chap in New Brunswick phoned me up and uh, he hadn't bowled for, for two, three years. He could get four bowls down the green and he just abject pain. And he wrote, he, he, he said, I gotta get one of those stick things. I said, oh, the Ubi launcher. This is when they first came out about seven years ago when we brought them out. He says, yeah, that one. I said, oh, okay, I can get you one. Two days later, he joined a club that he hadn't been a member of for three years. And the day after that, he was bowling in a tournament. A tournament after not being able to bowl four bowls in a row. Anyway, again, it's a tool that I think anybody can use. And during the days of COVID, hey, why not give it a try? Anyway, my name is Dan. I am the delivery doctor. I hope you've enjoyed the movie, this whole little series. If you have questions about it or comments, leave it in the section below. And uh, you know what, if you want some more tips or you have some questions that you need a little video on, let me know and I'll put together another video for you. Days of COVID, stay safe folks, be well. I am the delivery doctor.